Hey guys, it's Lisa here from lisatorresspeaks.com and in this video I want to show you how to create a social media content calendar. If you don't have one of these, if you're not using these three tools, hmm, you're definitely missing out, okay? So what I'm going to show you is the three tools that I like to use. Um, in conjunction with my assistant, of course, you don't have to have an assistant to have this work, but I'm going to kind of show you the behind the scenes of kind of what I do. I already have everything laid out and set out ready for me to go so that I can make this video short and I don't have to create everything from scratch. Um, so what I want the first tool that I want to talk about is Google Sheets. Okay, to get to Google Sheets, all you need to go is to uh, to Google and type in Google Sheets and it will take you to your Google Sheets um, or you can find it you know if you open up your Gmail account you'll be able to find it in there um, but this is Google Sheets if you scroll down a little bit you could just click on go to sheets and then start a new sheet okay so here's one that I actually have created um, so the first thing that you'll do is you'll name your sheet so for this example I named it social media content calendar you're going to put a few columns here you're going to put the t the date and of course you can customize this however you want it but i'm just going to keep this really simple so that you can get the idea of how to create a social media content calendar so the first thing you're going to do is put the date the time any links that you have the description and an area to add your image so the way that i like to use the sheets is that as I'm going about my day and whatever, and you can even use this on your phone, which is also a, another reason why I love Google Sheets, um, and even Google Calendar, the next tool that we're going to talk about, because you can actually, they have apps and you can do them on the go, you know, while you're out and about, you can update your sheets, update your calendar, do whatever you have to do. You can do that on the go. So um, the first thing that you'll do is, let's look at this example here so you'll put the date okay so if I wanted to post this on um, the 20th just put the date at 9 a.m. I'll put the link with the code that I want to track it right this is my code that I usually put behind my URL this is a little techie I'm not going to talk about that in this video um, but you know I'll put your link put your link there and a description so one of the pages that I'm going to be using at, as this example is this one that we have here inside of our system which is a little lead magnet that we have uh, this training was done by my girl April Marie Tucker who did an amazing job on putting this putting this uh, 23 page uh, Periscope PDF video and video demo together it's about an I don't know an hour or maybe an hour and a half long of valuable content literally showing you what to do on Periscope in order for you to create five leads per day okay so um, this is the URL this is the page that I'm going to be using as my example so I just basically as you can see I just copy and pasted the content that was already on there and then I just put a little testimonial uh, kind of post and again I want you to get creative because this this uh, spreadsheet you're gonna be updating as the day goes along as the weeks go along you know as the, as the days go by because um, you know when I talked about in this video you should be doing this at least once per week at least once per week you should be creating a spreadsheet like this so what you'll do is um, like for example in this example I put Good morning. Last night I spent an hour diving into this training by my girl April, and I have to say that I definitely learned a few nuggets. Um, this morning when I did my Periscope at 8 a.m., I literally generated eight leads within 30 minutes simply by implementing what I learned in this. And then as you can see here, this is the copy and pasted part from the capture page. Um, and then when we put here, they're going to be linking to this link there and this link can be anything it could be your blog post it could be a link to a capture page uh, it could be you know a link to your fan page whatever call to action you want to give uh, you know when you're updating your your status and then here this space for the image if you have an image to go with your update that you want to post then you just click the box 
and you click insert image and you can post any image you want in there okay so let's move on to the next tool which is Google Calendar so um, again I already created the status update that I needed to create a calendar all you have to do is go to Google type Google Calendar it will take you here you're gonna need a Gmail account so if you have a Gmail account you already have Google Calendar so you go to my calendars and then you click on this little drop down create new calendar uh, just name it and click create if you wanna have this calendar uh, managed by someone else maybe an assistant that you have or something you can just uh, put their uh, their name and uh, their email address right here and they'll have to confirm it okay so in this example uh, we talked about that we wanted to post this piece of content on the 20th okay so if we go to the calendar you can see on the 20th I have it right here to go out at 9 a.m. So all I did was I created a new calendar uh, and I, you know, put whatever it is that I want to go out. So in this example, it's a Facebook update. So you put the date, you put the time you want it to go out. Um, and then you put, you know, you just copy and paste everything here. But notice what I did. I put my hashtag. I put uh, my name and then I put a PS signature with a link to check out my latest uh, blog uh, blog post maybe from the day before or something like that maybe they missed it or something like that you can put in the PS signature and if you scroll down here you can say okay I want to get a pop-up to remind me to post this 10 minutes or send me an email an hour before or whatever and then of course you can color code it there and click Save and when you do you'll see it here so what I want you to do is I want you to first of all fill up this page with content then put it on your calendar and now let's move on to the next tool which is something that I have my assistant use but obviously if you don't have one you can do it yourself so the next tool is Hootsuite okay so now I'm logged into one of my Hootsuite accounts um, just as a demo and what you're going to do is you can assign all of the groups that you want it to be posted into your fan page, your Twitter account. Um, I, I believe you could do Google. I mean, um, you can do um, Instagram, but I haven't played with the Instagram part of this yet, so I'm not really sure how that part works. I really only use this for my regular profile, my fan page, and groups and Twitter. Okay, so all you need to do is go here grab your con well if your assistant is going to be using it she's going to be pulling it from here or you know you would pull it from here so I just grab um, all of this go into Hootsuite okay and then you assign it to whatever you want to assign it to whatever groups fan pages or whatever you can add your image here okay so you just select an image I'm not gonna select an image just so we could um, move forward and then you choose scheduling and now if I'm gonna be posting this on the 20th oops yeah it's already on the 20th so on the 20th at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. and you can email this message to be sent you can you know whatever whatever you want to do here uh, you could just fill in these blanks and then you just click schedule I'm not gonna do it because I don't want this um, to schedule yet so then you just click that and you're good to go so think about this for a second if you did a whole bunch of these right let's say you're going about your day and you're filling up the sheet and you're doing a whole bunch of these and then you're dumping it into your calendar so that you know on such and such date because you can see it all laid out on such and such you can view by day you can view by week you can view by month right and you see all your content laid out four days your agenda or whatever um, if you see that and then you just dump them all in here you're going to have a whole bunch of 
um, content that's going out while you're minding your business for the week. Okay, so you'd be focused on other things while, and this is why I talked about setting about two to three hours once a week to fill this up and have this going out, and you're good to go. So that's all that I have for you guys today. You can read the rest of this post. If you enjoyed this post, go ahead and share it, retweet it, share it on Facebook, leave a comment below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow on my next video.